Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to use two-factor authentication properly when setting up Gmail and NodeMailer in your Node app. And the reason I came across this issue is because when I was setting up NodeMailer initially, I just tried simply to do a one-factor authentication with the email and password. And when that didn't work, I actually tried to set up it using less secure apps, yeah, less secure app access as you could see here. But unfortunately, Google does not allow, the, allow us to do that anymore. I think this is pretty recent. And in order to circumvent this, what we want to do is actually set up something called a app password. And in order to do that, the first thing we want to do is simply uh, use your two-factor authentication. So I want to go ahead into my settings in my Gmail, and I'm going to get started and turn that on. So this is fairly simple. You just need a phone number or, I believe, another email. So I'm just going to enter my password real quick. So as you can see here, I went through the steps, I put my phone number in, I set up my two-factor authentication. I'm just going to turn it on here. So after I set up my two-factor authentication, I just want to go jump back into my profile settings. And we want to go here and click App Passwords. And again, it's going to ask me to put my password in, I'm going to sign in. And I'm just going to select app. I'm just going to say mail. And device, I'm just going to say uh, for my Mac. And I'm going to generate this app password. And it's as simple as that. Here's the app password. I'm just going to delete this after this video, but it's pretty easy to generate them. And I'm just going to copy this and put it into my application. As you could see here before, I was just using my regular email password to authenticate, and that was giving me the issue in Gmail. And in order to circumvent that, I'm just going to add a new environment variable here called email test app password and you guys can set your environment variable names however you want uh, if you guys don't know how to set up environment variables just search dot nv and there's a bunch of great tutorials online about dot nv and how to get it working in your application and i'm just going to copy in here i'm going to save that so now i have a new environment variable one for my original password which i'm not going to use and then one for my email test app password which is what i just generated in gmail as you guys just saw so just to prove to you guys that this is working, before I had email test password, which is going to give me an authentication error. And I'll show you guys the failure that it threw for me when I ran this application. So my application is currently running. I'm going to go ahead and fill in a user form to sign up in my application. And I'll show you guys the error that it throws when doing this. So I have this fill in user form. I'm just going to hit sign up. And if we go back to my application, we'll see that it threw an error for invalid login. Now, if we switch to email test app password, this should pass. I'm going to redo that form again. I just went ahead and refilled my signup form with some dummy data with some user that uh, has some fake data. And I'm going to hit sign up here. And if we go back to my application, we could see that it printed the correct log that we would see if an email was sent properly. In this case, it was. So that's that. It shows that the email test app password worked over the regular password. I just want to thank everyone for watching this video. As you can see, this is a really simple method to get authentication to work when using Gmail and NodeMailer in your Node application. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. And stay tuned. Thanks for watching.